Welcoming George to the Hall of Fame are fellow Tar Heels Bobby Jones and Roy Williams and his point guard from their glory days together in Seattle, my main man, Gary Payton. Please put your hands together for George Carl. I'm here. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> I am extremely humbled by this honor. I have dedicated my life to the game of basketball, and the game has paid me back a thousandfold. The game has given me, my family, a great, great, joyful life. Being recognized tonight by the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame never crossed my mind when I started my coaching journey nearly 50 years ago. This is really incredible from a guy from Penn Hills, Pennsylvania. This is a wow moment for me. I want to thank these guys, these gentlemen to my right. I think everybody in this room knows I'm a Tar Heel. And I want to thank Roy, Roy, Roy uh, these all have meant, meant a great deal to me in my basketball journey. Roy Williams, Roy, thank you for sustaining, no, really elevating the rich tradition of North Carolina basketball. Like Coach Smith and Coach Guthridge and Coach Lotz, great coaches when I played there, you are such a big part of the Carolina hierarchy, and I admire your loyalty to Carolina Blue and appreciate your support over the years. Bobby Jones, I've coached a thousand different players. Bobby and Robert McAfee were two very best players I played with in North Carolina. But Bobby Jones, in my life of coaching and playing, is the greatest winner I have ever played with. He played the game for one reason, to win. He's an incredibly humble and quiet guy. But like Roy, I admire how loyal you are to me in the Carolina Blue. <clears throat> now the Gary Payton. <clears throat> Gary, at times you are a nightmare. <laughs> How many wrestling matches did we have? Too many. Probably won too many confrontations. Even though you drove me a little crazy, hell, not a little crazy, a lot crazy, you always had my back. You always supported me. And I can say that we've become best friends through our, our love for the game of basketball and the love of the city of Seattle and the Sonic organization. I thank you, Gary. You don't get to the Basketball Hall of Fame alone. I've had a wonderful support network, terrific parents, strong family, great teammates, inspirational coaches and mentors, and wonderful trainers. I fell in love with the game of basketball in Penn Hills, Pennsylvania, mostly because of my teammates, Donnie Wilson, Artie Barr, and Mike Seville. We play basketball every day. I was always in the gym, either playing or watching a big-time basketball game. I owe a debt to my high school coach, Dick Meisenhelder, who just passed away about a couple months ago. I wish he could have been here. My parents, my father was a non-athlete. He was a very caring and committed guy who didn't quite understand my love or obsession for the game, but it didn't matter. I could always count on him to take me to the games, and he was always supportive. Now, my mother, well, she was my biggest fan and my toughest critic. If I earned a reputation for being a tough SOB, it's because of my mother, not my father. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
In high school, I was recruited by the University of Pittsburgh, and I met a gentleman by the name of Tim Gergridge. Tim is a lifetime friend, a great coach, one of the best basketball minds this game has ever seen. I would love to see the Hall of Fame recognize different types of contributors to our game, especially assistant coaches in the NBA. In my mind, Tim Gergridge and a, a few other coaches in the NBA today, assistant coaches, belong in the Hall of Fame. I received the ultimate basketball education at Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It all started with Coach Smith. Coach Smith had a different presence than anyone I had ever met at that time before in my life. There was something about him that was profound, yet hard to describe. A real, spoiled, a real spiritual vibe about him. It was, a, it was Coach Smith who ultimately provided the blueprint for my coaching philosophy of respecting the game, sharing the ball, and playing the right way. And it was assistant coach Bill Guthridge who believed in me most. I was especially close to Coach Guthridge. He had the ability to always push my buttons and he had motivated and inspired me. I think we all know I absolutely love my time at North Carolina. <clears throat> and before I embarked on a 40 plus year coaching journey, I had a blast playing in the ABA with the San Antonio Spurs. The baseline bums, there's a fraternity. <clears throat> there's a fraternity of guys who still love the ABA to this day, and I'm one of those guys. <clears throat> Bob Bass and Doug Moe asked me to scout after injuring my knees, and then they finally put me on the bench after three knee surgeries. I have a lot of respect and love for Doug Moe and Bob Bass. From San Antonio to the CBA, the Continental Basketball Association, the CBA taught me how much coaching is teaching, being a psychologist, being an inspiration, and bringing positive energy to the court, of the court every day. Those lessons led me to Cleveland at age 33. I thought I was ready for the NBA, but my record said I wasn't. We got off to an 0-9 start and 2-19, and I won the second game on Christmas Day. Somehow that year we turned it around, and I'm not sure how we did it, but we made the playoffs and played the Boston Celtics, the eventual champs of the NBA that year, in a very good series. That season, even though it was my first, was some of the most fun I ever had in coaching. The Cavs hire started an eventual pattern. Every team that I ever took on to coach was always sub 500. My next stop, the Golden State Warriors, was also short-lived, but the friendship and trust I forged with Don Nelson would pay major dividends throughout my career. Nellie and Stu Inman were two mentors who believed in me more than anyone else, and sometimes more than myself. Though ne through Nelly, I would meet Del Harris and Rick Majerus, who were my basketball encyclopedias, especially Coach Harris. It wouldn't be for another four years until I received my next opportunity. Those four years saw me coach in the CBA twice and in Real Madrid twice. My time with Real Madrid was one was one of the most meaningful times of my life. I grew up in many ways in Real Madrid. Tragically, we lost a very special person and player when I was in Madrid by the name of Fernando Martin to a car accident. Those three emotional days, those three days were the most emotional and soulful days of my life. I am very pleased to, to, to welcome two members of that team today who are with us tonight. Joe Urente and Kige Vili Lobos.
What a shame that people had forgotten about me in the NBA. Bob Woods had reached out and asked me to join the Sonic organization. To this day, I don't know why he did that. I thought they had forgotten about me. But we had an incredible run in Seattle. Somehow, Gary and I kissed and made up about six times. We won, we won a lot of basketball games. From, from being inside, upset in the first round in 94, advancing to the finals, I loved my time in Seattle. It was a great team, a great bunch of people, and a great bunch of players. I love Seattle, and I love, my, love the organization. My other stops in Milwaukee and Denver were also very memorable. In Milwaukee, we were a jump shot away from the NBA Finals in 2001. And those Bucks teams were probably the most overachieving teams I ever coached. And my friendship with Senator Herb Cole was extremely meaningful to me. In Denver, we lost to the Metro NBA champs, the Los Angeles Lakers. How many times did we lose to the Lakers and the Celtics? In, the, in 2009, in the Western Conference Finals. But the most fun I had was my last season in Denver when we won 57 games with no All-Stars, just a bunch of good basketball players, first full season after trading Melo. I also love my... I, 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 I think I, I've got to say that I love all my assistant coaches who I can't name them all, who did a hell of a job for me. First of all, putting up with me is not easy. And, but, and I also like to congratulate the ones that have gone on to be successful head coaches. Terry Stotts, Dwayne Casey, Jamal Mosley, Scotty Brooks, Nate McMillan, Vinny Del Negro, and Darvin Ham. I'm very proud of that coaching tree. My family is amazing, yet they never received the love they truly deserved over the years. My kids, who by the way, can all play ball. <clears throat> Kobe Joseph Carl is cur currently coaching the Philadelphia G League team, as a hell of a coach in the G League, and my dream is probably to see him coach someday in the NBA. I don't, I don't think he will hire me as an assistant coach either. Uh, Kelsey Ryan Carl Robinson, who serves as a capital budget coordinator for the Washington State House of Representatives, and who is also a coach for the women's team at Evergreen College in Olympia, Washington. And Casey Grace Carl, my youngest, who just went to college at WashU in St. Louis a few days ago. She is a soccer player. I'm not sure I understand anything about soccer. But I want you to know she's a competitive SOB. And I must give major props to my two ex-wives and ex-partners who raised these children, who have raised great kids, and I have a great family because of it. Kathy Carl and Kim Vandere. <clears throat> From Penn Hills, Pennsylvania, to China, to USA basketball, to losing in the NBA Finals, and coaching in four NBA All-Star Games, my career has been truly blessed. I want to thank the players for so many joyful wins. I want to thank the coaches for their loyalty and their friendship. And I want to thank the NBA for being first class. <clears throat> you lose a lot of games, a lot of basketball games, and there are a lot of miserable nights in the NBA. As I stand here before you, at the birthplace of basketball, receiving the ultimate honor, those miserable nights have disappeared. I want to be a student of the game, I want to be a giver of the game, an ambassador of the greatest game in the world. 
It's only appropriate that I give back to the game that has given me such a blessed life. Thank you.